Now the sum again an important one. AB suppose ABC are in AP, in AP and uh, modulus of ABC less than one. X is equal to this. Y is equal to this. Z is equal to this. Uh, then X Y Z are in maybe AP GP or HP. See here X is equal to what? 1 upon 1 minus a that is first term upon 1 minus common ratio right similarly y is equal to 1 upon 1 minus b and z is equal to 1 upon 1 minus c now you have to calculate the values of a b c then you have to put them in ap so that will be really a tedious lengthy method right you cannot uh, um, solve this question in one or maybe one and a half minute so what i suggest you instead of uh, taking the values of ABC as variable, what you can do is you can assume the values of ABC, any any numerical value, when ABC are in AP, right? But you have to keep one thing in your mind, you cannot take the values of ABC more than 1 because the ABC, all the three are common ratio of an infinite GP, of infinite GPs. So common ratio should always be less than 1 and it is already mentioned over here. So what I do is ABC, I assume... Um, 1 by 4, 1 by 2 and 3 by 4, right? Common difference between the two consecutive terms is 1 by 4 and ABC are in AP over here, right? Now X is equal to 1 upon 1 minus A. So precisely X is equal to 1 upon 1 minus 1 by 4. So that's 3 by 4. So X is equal to 4 by 3 we have got. Similarly, y is equal to 1 upon 1 minus p. So 1 upon 1 minus 1 by 2, so that is 1 by 2. So y is equal to 2. Z is equal to 1 upon 1 minus c. So 1 upon 1 minus 3 by 4, so it's 1 by 4. So z is equal to 4. Now we got the value of x, y, z. Right? Now we have to find out whether x, y, z are in AP, GP or HP. So 4 by 3, 2 and 4 obviously doesn't look in AP doesn't look in GP. Let's check for HP. If X, Y, Z are in HP, then Y must be 2XZ upon X plus Z. So 2XZ, 2 into 4 by 3 into 4 upon 4 by 3 plus 4. Let's see this. So that is uh, 4, 4s are 16, 2s are 32 by 3 by 4 3s are 12 plus 4 16 by 3 so that's 2 right so we are getting 2 so that is a value of y so that means x y z are in hp okay so very simply you can solve this problem if you take the comfortable values of a b and c and keep the thing in mind that a b c should be less than 1 because the common ratio of an infinite gp cannot be more than 1 Okay, I hope that's clear to you and it's really an important problem.